Hey guys, I'm Aaron Lavoie, Midwestern Hoof Trimmer. I hope you're having a great day. I'm gonna take you along with me for my whole day today. We have several things to take care of. First, we're gonna stop at a farm where I'm doing a little bit of research just by myself. Then I gotta stop off at the post office, send in some of our blades. These are blades that we use in our grinders. Our grinders run three blades. I'm shaking them, that's annoying. Our grinders run three blades. They are flippable, I wouldn't say reversible but we have a top and a bottom and we can flip them over. They run roughly $10 a piece and you can sharpen them three times. I've tried sharpening them many different ways. I've sent them to many different people. I have found the best results come from the factory that makes them. I just send them back there. They have the precise machinery to sharpen them perfectly. Never fails, so that's what I do. Then we'll join Pedro for a little bit of hoof trimming. Oh, I almost forgot. We have some awesome news. I'm not gonna tell you yet though, so you have to watch this video to find out what it is, but you won't be disappointed. I'm so excited myself. But my truck's finally warmed up, so let's get on the road. All right, well here we are at the farm. I'm gonna run in and do my quick little research project. Hopefully I'll show you guys soon if everything turns out the way that I expect it to. All right, well if you follow the channel, you know that before I'll endorse or support a product or even use it, I trial it first. That's what I got going on here. But we're just going to walk over here to this pen take a peek at a cow that you guys might recognize all right she's not eating right now so she's probably in the back here laying down in the stall so i'm whistling there i'm trying to get the cows to turn their ears towards me I kind of got an idea what 9002 looks like, but they're all black and white with two ears and a nose. So I'm trying to read a four-digit number. So that's what the whistling is there for. And I do it with a low tone just to get the cows to look, but not to alert them or scare them in any way. All right, well, I finally found our cow, 9002. She is what our exciting news is about. So this girl's become kind of a hit on the channel, and she has brought us... 5.5 million views and over 17,000 subscribers in the last month. So before I tell you what the news is, we're gonna recap her last two trims. Mama, let's see what's going on over here. Pedro says she's lame on this foot. Ugh. We got some bloody pus coming out. All right, well, now she's finally laid down. You guys got to see the recap of her history with us on the channel. Now for the exciting news. I've got this farm to agree to sell her to us. So we are going to be taking 9002, big old mama here, and, and we're gonna move her to another farm. Never mind that distracting sound. I'll show you what that is in a second. But we're gonna be taking her to one of my really close friends' farms. And if you follow the channel, you'll recognize it. It's the home of the world's greatest cattle dog, Hank. And the reason that we're gonna do this is so that I have the ability to film her more frequently. It's easy access for me to get to her, being one of my close friends' farms, and that it's a lot smaller. There's nothing wrong with this farm. It's just that it's a large farm and it's hard for me to get up close and personal with her to bring you guys more videos of her and since she's done us so well with again over five and a half million views and brought us 17,000 subscribers i thought she should be a part of the channel as well and craig reluctantly agreed to let us bring her to his farm he says what am i gonna do with another cow of yours but with a little persuasion and a uh, 30 pack of old style he agreed to let us bring her over so we're not bringing her over just yet today um as I'm filming right now, it is Tuesday of Thanksgiving week. Possibly over the weekend, we'll be able to borrow a cattle trailer and haul her over. I'm not sure exactly when, but I was so excited to tell you guys that we will be taking her on as part of the channel and as well as purchasing her. We're going to name her 9002. It's a good number, but uh, 
it's not quite as personal. So I want you guys to comment in the comment section what you think we should name her, and then we'll make a poll. And we'll vote on what the best name is. The winner probably get a t-shirt too, or a sweatshirt. I'll also video the transportation when we actually take her to the new farm. We'll visit Hank, and while we're at it, we might as well put her in the chute, pick her foot up, see how it's doing. All right, so I've done everything I need to do at this farm. I'm gonna jump back in the truck. We're gonna run over, see how Pedro's doing. All right, well, we just got to the farm where Pedro's trimming. This is a weekly farm that we go to. You probably recognize that I'm at the same farms a lot of the time. That's because most of our dairies are larger and we go to them on a weekly or bi-weekly schedule. Que pasa? How's it going? Good. Let's go see how it's looking. 54 cows done. One wrap. Got a couple hot dogs out here enjoying their new feet. Yeehaw! Mama, that's okay. We're fine with inspecting them. Five, three, nine, seven. All right, so she's got really, really nice feet. Show you her other foot. There is absolutely uh, nothing wrong. Just doing inspections. He would much rather touch them up a little bit than have to do repairs. Oh, we got a little tiny one coming here. She's barely big enough for the machine. We have a little tiny Jersey girl here. She's not much bigger than a dog. Put you guys out here so you can see this little girl exit the machine. Well, that is it for us for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you hit that subscribe button so you can follow the saga, Sega, saga, saga of 9002. Again, we'll be moving her to her new farm soon. That's gonna be really exciting. Thanks for watching. Till next time, catch you on the flip flop. Bye.